Sarah says, hello and blessed to be here. I'm a dry kitchen's environment and cold thirst digestion. I live in the mountains close to Himalayas. Oh my God, that must be great. This is a cold, tropical, humid climate. Okay, maybe not so great. With lots of greenery and rain 80% of the time. Oh, definitely not for me. I'm understanding parts of my design. Hence, I have planned to travel to the drier, cold range of Himalaya to explore how I feel. Hmm. I definitely don't do well in humidity and rain. Heat is a big no for me too. My body loves cold. However, it doesn't prefer cold food always. I eat lukewarm food mostly and rarely hot drinks. Can you share more insights on this? Okay, so definitely um, try out. So try out dry instead of wet kitchens or whatever environment if it's wet. Definitely the difference between dry and wet is self-evident. Like you said, 80% of rain is definitely not dry kitchens. So kitchen's environment is basically like uh, similar to a marketplace where a lot of people are selling a lot of things, but kitchen's is more like a factory. Kitchen's is like a place where a lot of people are assembling something together. So let's say a family is making a meal. That would be a kitchen environment where one person is cutting something, the other person is boiling water, a third person is just uh, being a pain in everyone's ass and just <laughs> giving unnecessary comments. And then you as a projector, you are watching over everything. And if somebody asks you something, you give them guidance. You tell mom, please shut up and, and cut up those tomatoes. And you're doing great cousin or whatever, you know. So you're like hovering over everyone and being there and kind of orchestrating the whole thing. That would be a projector in a kitchen. And a kitchen can also be a factory. It could be any place where a lot of people have banded together on a project and everyone has a role and then it comes together and it's kind of like, you know, brainstorming. Oh, we could do this. We could do that. Let's throw in a little bit of this. It's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot about ingredients, moving parts together. So that would be kitchens. And then a cold thirst digestion, it basically means that if you have cold thirst, that means you have a very hot digestive system. If you have a hot thirst, that means you have a very cold digestive system, which means if you have, let's say you have hot thirst digestion, that means that your digestive system is cold by default and that whatever you're eating you should have at least a little bit of hot drink on the side so that the overall temperature in your stomach, in your bowels, when the food comes in is above body temperature. And then cold thirst digestion means that your digestive, digestive system is all the time very hot and that whatever you're eating, you should have a cold drink at least next to the... Um, to the food so that when the food comes in overall it's kind of cold because if the food is hot and your digestive system is hot it creates an overload it's a burnout it's basically like let look at it as like um you have a very strong fire and then you throw in something into the fire and you're wishing it to burn a long time, but it just immediately evaporates. So it's like if you eat very hot things and you have a very hot digestive system, it's like you're doing nothing. It's like you're throwing out the food into the, into the garbage. It's not going to get absorbed. It's just going to, it's, it disappears. It, and Yeah. So a uh, cold thirst, get some cold drinks. That would be easiest. So you can eat foods any way you want, but get some cold drinks in you throughout the day. Like get some watermelon juice or something. Get some orange juice. Get some um, coconut water, some distilled water. Or if you, let's say you have a meal, get a cucumber and just slice up a cucumber and eat it next to the food. So let's say you eat whatever you're eating regularly, something cooked, I presume, and then just have 
a cucumber on the side, which is cold, and eat the cucumber as well. So something along those lines. Thank you, Sarah, for asking the question. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, share your story below. Check out my audio courses, Human Design, Basics, Intermediate, Projector Masterclass, other human design that will come out. Check out the Elemental Balancing audio course. They're all available on the Insight Timer app where you are also invited to join the course classroom. In there, you can ask questions and get direct voice messages from me and also engage with other students, share your feedback and insights and further your learning. For one-on-one -on -one human design coaching and psychotherapy, send an inquiry through the website. Join us on the Insight Timer live sessions where we do fascia and qigong stress release classes. Check out my art and merch web shop full of my original designs ready to be printed on shirts, notebooks and many other products. Download my free ebooks and join my newsletter to stay connected and get updates and content in your email. Everything mentioned is available at iCreatelines.com. Peace, health, and abundance.